Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video, another different background for you, this one's actually moving. So yeah, this one we've got some more differences, five differences, just for fun. Yeah, we thought we'd take advantage while we're on our 50 cents train fare to the city, and we thought we'd tell you all about some things that we've noticed uh, between UK and Queensland. This time of year, like August till November, I think. October? October is swooping season. So this is the time of year when obviously birds lay their eggs, have their young. The next station is the I'd like to target humans, cyclists pets. and a pet as well. So mind your own business, walking underneath a tree, next thing you've got specifically magpies and plovers they're called. Yeah, they're masked lapwings. See it looks like they've got like a little yellow mask on. Hate the things. <laughs> A stupid noise as well. We like to swoop you as well for no reason, especially plovers. You could be in the middle of a field and they'll just you know, decide to dive at you. See, so what difference we have? Not noticed that with birds over. No, we have magpies in UK. Admittedly, they do look slightly different. So mm. we'll post a picture of a British magpie and an Australian magpie so that you can see the difference. But we don't have swooping in the UK. And what was the reason for that? It's because they, you know, more territorial over here. And I think the only slightly aggressive bird we have in the UK is a seagull, which will steal food out your hand. But yeah, they don't really swoop you like. Magpies and that dude. Yeah, street lights is another one. So they're not as bright over here. Not so many of them, especially in the suburbs, which is good because you can see the stars easier, which is nice at night. If you're wandering around on a dog walk at last six, seven o'clock, it's pitch black and you literally need a torch. So we find that funny because maybe it's because in the UK it doesn't get dark so early. But even when it does get dark, there's still lots of street lights. I remember walking the dog sometimes at lovers 10 at night and uh, definitely didn't need my torch so yeah it's just funny how Australia doesn't have as much street lighting as UK. Well, it's a different colour as well so whereas UK is more orange whereas here they seem to be like whiter colour but yeah so that's another little quirky difference. Next difference that we've noticed is dentistry and basically how you pay for that so in the UK, a long, long time ago, you used to be able to get dentistry on the NHS. So NHS is like Medicare, but as time's gone by, it's become increasingly more difficult to get dentistry on the NHS, including for kids. And so more and more people have to take out, either take out dental cover or find themselves a private dentist or both find a private dentist and take out dental cover, like dental insurance. So here, if you're going to the dentist, you have to pay for that. It's not funded on Medicare, and so you have to have a private medical insurance to cover you for that. But sometimes there'll be a gap, so it won't fully cover it. Not sure if kids are covered on Medicare at the dentist. I think they actually might be. Let us know in the comments about kids and Medicare and the dentist. I think that's right. Kids are covered, but adults aren't. So the next difference we've noticed is when you visit the doctor here. So luckily, most of it is covered on Medicare, which is similar to the UK. In the in the UK, we're covered by the NHS, so we don't pay to go to the doctor. We don't pay any gap fee, we don't pay any top up, you just don't pay. The negative of that is that you can rarely get an appointment or be seen or spend any time with the doctor. Here you pay for your appointment and there's differences between bulk billing and I can't remember what the other one. Partial billing. And so here there's differences between bulk billing and partially billing, but the way that we've been visiting the doctor is that we've been paying for our appointment and you pay for it up front and then you get a partial refund via Medicare into your bank account. Pretty quick as well, isn't it? Pretty quick. So uh, generally differences are that you can be, you can see a doctor same day. And you seem to pay for like a slot, 15 minute or an extended. We literally talk about anything in that 15 minutes. Whereas if you call up for a doctor's appointment in UK, unless you're dying, you'll get an appointment in about 10 minutes. Now arriving at 
So, um, we're on a um, different train now, we're on our way back from the city, so um, yeah, sorry we stopped recording. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say a little bit about our experience with doctors here. Um, and so that is that we've had a really good experience here. So um, we haven't used the doctors so much in the last 11 months, but we've both been. And when you went, um, you didn't just get the help that you needed. You also got like additional things. Yeah, yeah. So I give a lot of the when's the last time I had a skin check? I was like, well, not really had one. So like, yeah, right, come on in. Yeah, it's kind of like they want to make sure that you get the value for money that you're paying for your time. So, um, and it was yeah. on time. And like, if you go back to England, you get an emergency appointment. They could be running thirty minutes late. Even normal appointments in England always run in late. Like, yeah, we've always been seen on time or early. And um, in my example, like, I went to the doctors with a tummy ache. Now, if that was in England, they wouldn't even give me antibiotics for it they would have just like sent me away and told me like yeah, take some party <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> yeah because the nhs is so overstretched in england they haven't got the time or money to help you in the way that they should um but here they were really thorough so i have all types of checks including a blood check a urine check I was sent away with antibiotics, I was um, sent for a referral for a scan, um, so it was so thorough and um, yeah what we found, um, I mean maybe it varies from doctor to doctor but I had to call to see if my results were in whereas in England they would contact you but like I said maybe it's just with our specific doctor. Um, and luckily everything was okay but yeah it was a really high level of care and concern that we're just not used to <laughs> it's weird going to get like an appointment as well pretty much same day so our last difference we noticed is registering of with us registering your dog with the council you don't really have to do it in the uk unless it's like one of the dangerous breeds like the pit bulls or the xl pit bulls or certain stuffies i believe but yeah over here We've kind of just got to register all for the dogs, really, I think. Yeah, not sure if that's the same for other states, but certainly here in Queensland. And, um, yeah, I guess the benefit of that is, you know, you have dog parks here, you have um, dog waste bags scattered all around. We don't have that in England. There's no dog parks. There's no free dog poo bags. Uh, Definitely no dog parks by the water. Yeah, it's noticing like the poo bags is really handy as well, not? Yeah, yeah, I mean we just are in the habit of bringing our own anyway, but um, yeah, definitely helps um, if you've forgotten yours to be able to pick it up and not leave it behind you. Oh, there you have it. There's five other differences. Hey, just us a minute, we forgot one, so we're going to treat you to a little bonus one. <laughs> we can't ever help ourselves, we've always got a little bonus one. Well, that window is right behind us. Look at it. Yeah. I, is it mud? Yeah. Is it bird? It's worry about if there's a bird. <laughs> anyway. Um, and we're always on here talking about how nice public transport is. It, it is nice. I'm sure they'll wash it at some point. <laughs> um, but anyway, we were just thinking about the fact that in England, your address, if you live in a town your address is your first line of address and then your town and then your city and then your postcode whereas here and i don't know if this is different for other states let us know in the comments but here your if you live in a suburb you don't put the city so for example if you live in the suburb of ormiston your address is your first line of your address then ormiston and then the state, Queensland, is not like the address is Ormiston, then Brisbane, then Queensland. The thing is, like, the state, then the postcode? Yeah. So the postcode obviously goes to that state, but yeah, it's just labelled a bit different. Yeah, so um, again, let us know in the comments, if you live in a suburb in Brisbane, why does your address not normally contain Brisbane, or should it contain Brisbane? 
and um, yeah, let us know. Well, anyway, we'll let you go now just for fun. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and it's a bit different with a moving background. Hope it's not making you too dizzy. <laughs> So yeah, if you enjoyed these videos, yeah, please hit the thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, please remember to subscribe. And see you in the next one.